Hey guys, today I'm going to make an onion burger in the air fryer oven. I found this ground venison at the grocery outlet. I like it. I've had it a few times now. This is from New Zealand. It was $6.99 a pound, which is pretty good price. So if you don't know what venison is, it's deer meat. So um, anyway, what I did is cut up three onion slices there, and I cut off about a third of that. So this would be a third pound burger. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Cut that onion into smaller pieces, then we'll mix the uh, ground venison in with that. That looks like a lot of onion, but I've made these a few times and it worked out good. It'll all kind of mix together. I'm also going to add, sprinkle in a little Worcestershire sauce. That'll give it some flavor. So, I don't know, teaspoon or so of that. And then some Johnny's seasoned pepper, of course. Besides pepper, this has sugar, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion in it. And I'll just get this all mixed together and make it into a patty. I'm going to use this 10 inch cast iron skillet. It fits perfectly in my toaster oven. It's lightly oiled with avocado oil. And I've um, got the burger all, all made there. Makes a pretty good sized burger. And uh, those onions will give the burger some moisture. It's fairly lean. This is fairly lean meat. So it, I've made these a few times and I like them this way. It, better than plain. So I put a little bit of kosher salt on top. Now we'll get that into the air fryer oven. I'm going to use the air fry setting for this. I put the oven rack all the way up to the top. I have the oven set to air fry at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll let it cook on that side for a few minutes and then I'll flip it over. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes on that side. I'm going to pull it out and turn it over. All right, now I'll get that in for a couple more minutes. It's been about three minutes on that side. That should be good. We'll get it out of there. All right. And I'm going to use an English muffin for a bun. So I'll just put that in there and then let that toast for a couple minutes. That's a pretty good sized burger. Almost too big for my English muffin. Looks good though. I had some smoked Gouda cheese in there in the fridge. This would be very Gouda on there. <laughs> Gotta have some pickles too. Put some pickles on top as well. Let's get the top on the burger and try it out. That's good, a lot of flavor, and the onion gives it a lot of moisture and some extra texture. I like that a lot. I'm not going to give Annie any of the burger because of the onions, but she can have a piece of smoked Gouda. Want some Gouda, Annie? There you go. <laughs> Looks like she liked that. It turned out real good if you like onions and you could just use regular ground beef for that if you want as well anyway i write everything in the description like usual thanks for watching see you guys next time